So it's already the end of 2018. We've reflected on this year and it's been a pretty amazing year for gaming. But looking ahead into 2019, next year also looks like it is going to be chock full of some incredible games. And there are a lot of games coming out next year that I'm super excited for and are heavily anticipated. So this video is going to cover my most anticipated games of 2019. Now, when I say most anticipated, I don't always mean the ones that I'm most excited about. Sometimes it will also mean games that I'm very interested in, that maybe at the moment I'm sort of sat on the fence, I'm not sure yet whether or not I'm going to buy them, um, but I am very interested to see how they perform, to see what video game reviewers say of them, and what people generally feel about them uh, before making my own decision. So these are my most anticipated games of 2019, Without further ado, let's begin. So I'm going to start off by talking about the games that have been confirmed for release in 2019. And I'm going to do these in release order. So beginning off on the 29th of January, we have Kingdom Hearts 3. So this is the 12th installment in the Kingdom Hearts series. Of course, it's by Square Enix. It's going to be available on the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. And it is the final chapter in the Dark Seeker Saga. Now, I myself um, am a complete noob uh, to Kingdom Hearts. I've never actually played any of the previous titles, though I have bought some of the collector's editions on uh, PlayStation 4 recently. I just haven't had a chance to get around to playing them. Um, but I'm very interested in Kingdom Hearts 3, and I think it looks like an incredible game. And um, Basically, it's a crossover between Final Fantasy and Disney, and really, what's not to love about that? So we've seen quite a few trailers. The gameplay looks fun. The combat looks over the top beautiful. Um, and we have seen some of the worlds that we're going to get to explore. So uh, there are a couple of Disney titles uh, that are going to be appearing. We've seen Tangled. We've seen Frozen, Toy Story, Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I'm really looking forward to this game. And I'm definitely going to be picking it up. I don't know what to expect because I haven't played any of the previous titles. But I'm very excited for it. And it definitely will be probably one of the first first purchases that I make in 2019. So the next game coming out on the 15th of February is Crackdown 3. Uh, this is by Sumo Digital and will be available on the Xbox One and PC. And it is continuing on from 2010's Crackdown 2. This game has been delayed on so many occasions. It was actually originally set for release in 2016 um, and then was delayed till the back end of 2017 and now has been delayed until February uh, 2019 and in the game you basically play as um, a super powered agent led by Terry Crews no less um who does the voice acting and facial capture for Commander Jackson. And your basic objective is to dismantle a terrorist organization known as Terra Nova. Um, this game promises heaps of fun, big, over-the-top explosions, uh, jetpacks, superpowers, uh, you name it. If it's anything like the original Crackdown, um, it's going to be crazy. I'm mixed on this game just because it's been delayed on so many occasions and I am concerned about it as to what the final quality of the game will be um, but as there are so few Xbox exclusives coming out um, this will definitely be one of the games I will be picking up in February uh, and I absolutely will be reviewing it to let you guys know whether or not it's worth a pick up. Next coming on the 22nd of February is Anthem. This of course is by Bioware published by EA and will be available on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC. Now, with Anthem, um, as you all know, I'm a massive, massive Bioware fan, um, but I am on the fence with buying this game um, simply because, from the sounds of it, it is EA's answer to Destiny, um, which I'm not overly happy about. Um, I have to say that, you know, the javelins look great. We've seen a lot of gameplay with the Ranger, the Storm, the Interceptor, the Colossus. The gameplay looks really fun. The combat looks really great. I love the co-op operative nature of it. I do like being able to play with my friends. I really enjoyed um, that side of Destiny, but what I am heavily concerned about is whether or not it will feel like a Bioware game um, and how good the actual
actual story is going to be and they have said it's going to be our world my story so your single player story experience will happen in Fort Tarsus where you'll be able to interact um, with NPCs and your companions and so on and so forth. I am so mixed about this game. Um, As you all know, I hate EA with a passion and I am pretty much boycotting them at the moment. I'm not buying any games that have loot boxes, microtransactions. I don't want to support them, but at the same front, I'm a huge, huge fan of Bioware. I have supported them right from the beginning all the way through i was super disappointed with mass effect andromeda it was a good game but it wasn't as good as as previous titles have been and i'm very concerned for the future of bioware and i do want anthem to be successful i do want to support it but i'm going to hold off i think and wait and see what the reviews say and i'm going to keep my fingers crossed but it is definitely a game that i will be following in 2019 um and i would like to do a review on it so i am heavily considering trading in some games um against anthem so my conscience is clear and i'm not spending any of my own money um but that i'm able to pick up the game to play it to review it for you guys uh, to let you know what the game is like and i know many of you are fellow bioware fans as well and are obviously um highly anticipating finding out uh, what the final product is going to be next up on the 8th of march the day after my birthday is devil may cry 5 and um, this of course is by capcom available on pc playstation 4 and xbox one it takes place actually several years after the events of devil may cry 2 um, we've seen a couple of gameplay trailers there was a playable demo at gamescom and we know that you can play as nero and dante and we've seen some gameplay with nero you know using a robotic um prosthetic arm called the devil breaker um it looks fab it looks great the combat in devil may cry is always fun the boss fights are always over the top and um, this game looks beautiful and i'm really really interested in picking it up i'm a huge devil may cry fan so i'm definitely i'm going to be looking at buying this probably going to get this with my birthday money and i have got a few days off around my birthday so it'll give me a little bit of time to play it and uh, hopefully review it for you guys next up on the 22nd of march is sekiro shadow dies twice this game looks so interesting for me it's from from software and will be available on the pc playstation 4 and xbox one and it's a new direction for from software you know from software are famous for the uh, dark souls series which is always set in kind of medieval europe this is the first time that they're actually going to be going back to feudal japan you play as a shinobi or a samurai i think you play as uh, and you basically get killed at the beginning of the game and for the rest of the game you're on a mission to seek revenge against the samurai that killed you uh, but also kidnapped your lord now what looks most exciting about this for me is the gameplay the combat looks as brutal as you would expect from from software um i love the prosthetic arm i love the different sort of uh weapons and the axe and the firecrackers and the different um, combat options that you have but what I really love is the grappling hook I think that's going to give a nice verticality to the gameplay and should make for some fun traversal and uh, fun combat sections as well and I do know there are going to be a couple of stealth sections and this game was originally I think planned to be a new Tenchu uh, game um, but sort of morphed into Sekiro so if there are elements of the game that's like Tenchu I'll be super happy to see those then next up on the 26th of April we have Days Gone Um, this of course is by Sai Ben Studios and is available exclusively on the PlayStation 4 you play the main character Deacon St. John who is voice acted and facial capture of Sam Whitware and you're basically a former outlaw turned drifter slash bounty hunter Um, it's set in a post-apocalyptic world where uh, mankind has been infected with a virus that's turned them all into freakers which are basically like zombie mindless zombie-like creatures there are also human um, characters as well 
um, that you'll be fighting. It, it very much has a vibe of The Last of Us, um, and that's a good thing for me. Um, obviously, you can traverse around the map on your on your motorbike. There's going to be stealth sections, um, survival sections where you're going to have to run away from freakers. And the gameplay that we've seen so far has looked great. It has looked really, really interesting. What I will say is I've been a little concerned because obviously Cy Ben Studios and PlayStation have gone kind of quiet about Days Gone. And given the fact that it's coming out next year in April, I would have expected to see more of it at E3 this year. Um, so I'm surprised that they haven't been promoting it, um, really, if at all. So maybe we'll see something at the beginning of next year. Um, so I'm a little concerned by that. I don't know what that means. But the gameplay that we have seen so far has looked really good. And uh, yeah, I'm interested definitely to play it. So those are all the games that have confirmed release dates. Those are the release dates that we know for them. But there are quite a few games that have yet to be confirmed, but are still pretty much set that they're going to be coming out uh, next year in 2019. Quite a few of them actually are indie titles. So I'm going to kick off with one indie title that I'm really interested in, which is called A Plague Tale Innocence. This is developed by Asobo Studio. Uh, it will be available on the PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And it tells the tale of two siblings, Amicia and her younger brother, who are basically fighting to survive the 100 year war. I think it's set in England, I think. Um, but the, I saw some gameplay on it and it looked really interesting. Um, it looked like the survival, action survival, puzzle solving game uh, where you have these like hundreds of thousands of rats that are kind of um scurrying around and will attack you and you have to figure out ways of traversing around the map using fire and light to create pathways uh, you can redirect these rats as a weapon against enemies as well and um, it just looked really atmospheric it looked really interesting and it's definitely a game i will be picking up and playing it looks really really good then we have of course code vein developed by bandai namco available on the playstation 4 pc and xbox one on. think vampires meet anime it looks beautifully it looks visually stunning and the gameplay is heavily inspired by the dark souls series so expect some very challenging combat um, and if you love the dark Souls series and you're a fan of anime then you're probably going to really enjoy uh, code vein of course there'll be lots of cinematics and hopefully a really good story but code vein looks really interesting and uh, it's definitely a, a game uh, that's on my horizon we then have control Troll uh, by Remedy Entertainment, which will be available on the PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. You play a female character called Jesse Fadden, and you go along to something, a place called the Federal Bureau of Control that are dealing with sort of supernatural objects. Basically, stuff goes wrong. The uh, Bureau uh, gets sort of taken over by this supernatural force called the Hiss, and you become the director of the FBC and have to try to sort of contain this. Um, what looks really cool is all the abilities that you have and the telekinetic abilities even the ability to fly from the looks of it and the combat it looks like what they were hoping quantum break would be and it looks like this is the evolution of quantum break so a quantum break had some really good gameplay but it didn't quite make it in terms of the story and and the finished product and hopefully control will will, will be that um, but it looks really interesting we then have ori and the will of the wisp um, developed by Moon Studios, available exclusively on the Xbox One and PC. This is another Xbox exclusive that I will definitely be picking up. It is the sequel to 2015's Ori and the Blind Forest, um, and it just it looks as beautiful and visually stunning as that game was. Of course, you play as Ori, a white guardian spirit, but this time around, you're actually joined by a young brown owl. It, it sort of expands the world, and you're discovering the world beyond the forest of Nibel and it just it looks beautiful it looks um absolutely gorgeous the art the art style the cinematography um and yeah it definitely will be a game I'm picking up then we have Biomutant by Experiment 101 this is a small Swedish development team only 18 people in this team that set up house in 2015 and this game looks so interesting you basically play as a raccoon like creature and 
the world that you're in has been struck by a natural disaster, a poisonous oil that has infected the tree of life. Your basic goal is to cure the five roots of the tree. Um, and there's a, some kind of creature or monster that's also gnawing against these roots. And you're trying to sort of save the planet, save, save the world, basically. Um, it will have branching storylines, which is really interesting. So the choices that you make will actually affect the story and the way the story progresses. Um, and, you know, it's been called a post-apocalyptic kung fu fable, which I absolutely love. The combat looks great. It's a mixture of melee and long range combat. Really gives me elements and it really gives me vibes of Devil May Cry. And the game just looks absolutely incredible. Um, so Biomutant looks really really fun really different there's not anything like it out there and it just looks really cool and um, so those are the games that are confirmed for 2019 that i'm really interested in now there are a couple of other titles of course that i'm super excited about um but i probably think that these titles are probably not going to come out until 2020 and those are of course cyberpunk 2077 i am sold on this game after we saw the 50 minute gameplay footage I am absolutely sold. Um, it looks incredible. I can't wait to dive into the world of Cyberpunk 2077. But if it doesn't come out in 2019, I won't be disappointed. Um, I know that CD Projekt Red are going to produce something that is going to be outstanding. And I'm happy to wait um, for a 2020 release if that is going to be the case. But I anticipate that Cyberpunk 2077 won't be coming out until 2020. Um, we then, of course, have The Last of Us Part 2. We did see some gameplay footage at E3 three this year we got to see ellie and the gameplay looked brilliant it looked like the next level for the last of us um it, it looked incredible so cinematic so fluid uh, you couldn't tell what was cutscene and what was gameplay it just all looked like one um and it looked really really cool and i love the fact that we're going to get to play as ellie as the main character um whether or not we'll get to play sections of it as joel uh, i guess we'll have to wait and see um but the last of us part two looks absolutely incredible it looks so so good um but again i don't think it's going to come out until 2020 and then finally we have ghosts of tsushima which again was shown this year at e3 uh, that gameplay footage for me just absolutely blew me away um it looks so gorgeous uh, the cinematography the world it just looks incredible it looks so good and the sword play and the finesse and the mood oh, it just look great it looks so so good i'm super excited about uh, ghost of tsushima and i'm very much looking forward to that game but again I don't think it's going to come out until 2020. So those are the games that I am very excited about, uh, very interested in. Those are my most anticipated games for 2019. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, which games you're very excited about, which games you're looking forward to, and which games you're going to be picking up and playing um, in 2019. Let me know in the comment section below. Hope you guys have had a great new year anyway. I hope you guys have a great week. Take care and as always, happy gaming. Bye guys.